Hello, welcome. Uh, in this video, we are going to teach you how to go on the Socialware website in order to get your registration ready uh, for um, Socialware. So I'm Laura. I'm going to, to represent the students here uh, on this video. So I will be like the one of the students on the team. And next to me is Emre. Yeah. He's working for an NGO. Hello, guys. I'm Emre. I'm working for You Start Belgium as an expansion manager. We help students to establish their startups and develop and help them through the whole process of creating a startup and developing the idea towards the realization of their idea. OK, great. So Emre um, is uh, on the DMO DMA program as well. So um, he hasn't signed up for Socialware yet. And this is what we're going to do with him in order to have everything ready for the Google uh, Ad Grants for Nonprofit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen with you. And I'm going to guide you guys through all the steps. So bear with me. All right. So. Um, we have uh, gone to the website of socialware.be and you could actually get to that website by entering this URL or you could actually go to the DMA plot, uh, platform and click on the register button from there. As you can see, our um, Socialware website is now in Dutch. In case you or the NGO don't speak Dutch, you can switch actually the interface language to French as well. At the moment, there is no um, interface uh, language available in English. So this is how you should go. We have uh, um, chosen for the Dutch interface language, but we will do the rest of the presentation in uh, English. So to start with, um, this is absolutely necessary that you do this together with the NGO because there will be a lot of information asked from your NGO ex uh, itself. So what I actually did is I asked Emre to prepare himself, to I sent him an email with this link and showed him what kind of information we all needed here. So Emre actually um, prepared a Google Doc sheet with all the information here so that I can now easily copy paste to the social um, uh, socialware website. So first of all, the name. Well, we have decided to go for this You Start Belgium uh, account name. Then the email address. It's very important that you note uh, that, uh, and it's indicated here in Dutch, that you take an email address with the domain name of uh, your organization. So for Emre, it should be actually the domain name um, of ustartbelgium.com. In case your organization or your NGO doesn't have a domain name like that, but uses just Gmail or any other um, email program, well, reach out to the frequently asked questions on the platform because um, we will have a workaround solution for you there. Password, of course, that's um, going to be um, a password specifically. So yeah, I'm going to type that in right now. All right, and I have to repeat it once again. All right. So, um, because social barriers for Belgium, we need to pick Belgium here. You could pick Luxembourg here as well. It's going to be a non-profit. Emery, let me, uh, um, the word to um, tell you why you choose for a certain activity. So, as we are um, an organization towards students, we choose to be an organization where we help um, so we, we, we provide support to students. So that's why we chose for this one, under the student for the student in Dutch. So it means other um, support for students. It's very broad, but at least you are sure to be um, concerned with that with that yeah. choice. It's definitely going to be a general, but a good category for them. Okay, so 
once again, this is why you need the NGO to help you set up because you will need a national number, like an entrepreneurial number from the NGO. So I have asked Emre this beforehand, and now I can just copy paste this number uh, from my list, which is right here. Um, it's not necessarily all needed, all this information. Um, in case you don't know, you can repeat the number because in Belgium it's often the case that uh, um, both entrepreneurial number and national number would be the same number. Not all NGOs require to have a VAT number, but in case your NGO has one, it's very easy. You just start with BE and you copy paste your uh, national number behind it. If you don't have it, just leave these um, um, these uh, fields blank. Then we come to the practical or, um, data of the organization. So we have all of this prepared as well, which is here. You start Belgium, then we have our address, which is in Waterloo. City and the postal code, and then we need it. Uh, oh, yeah, first of all, how do you want to receive the communication? Well, in the end, at the uh, NGO, I think most in people, our case, it's in French, it's in French. So, this is we have the interface in Dutch, but in order to receive the information um, in the language that most people at the NGO speak, we choose French here. Um, and here you can see that we actually support English as well. And then the number, it's going to be a um, national number, so including the 3-2 for Belgium, and you see an example here, so we don't include the plus sign. The website, you see that you need to add uh, the HTT or HTTPS request with it. Um, an easy thing uh, would actually be to um, just have the website open, just trying to do that now. And copy from there, so then you know for sure. So this is the website. And we just paste it in entirely. And the HTTP request is already um, there. Um, this is information that only your NGO would have, so I would actually go here and copy that number. Don't add any um, numbers uh, after the comma, um, so it should be an entire number. Um, so, well, a couple of more information. Do you want to receive the newsletters, Emery? Would Why you like not? to? Why not? Okay. Um, I select this. How did you um, learn about uh, socialware? Well, in our case, it's actually through the DMA program. So I'm picking here Google for nonprofits, and I can actually add a detail and add DMA. Now, what is um, like the mission of your organization? And this is something if you don't know, or if uh, your contact person as uh, at the NGO is not fully like con like couldn't really answer that question very quickly. It's a good idea to go to the website and actually read the About Us page. And that is that is exactly what we did. We actually just copied that. We strive to become the entrepreneurial playground for students, a key actor in Belgian startup landscape. So we can just copy this, go back to our, um, go back to our register form and just write that down. Then some other uh, information, amount of PCs of the organization, this is meant to be like for the people that actually bought and paid their PC um, for the organization itself. So we're not including people that uh, have their own PC. So, so in our case, it will be the founders, uh, which are two people. Okay. But then you will work with more than two people? Yes, we are 12 in total. So, so the rest of the people are using their own, yeah, PC. their own PCs. All right, good. So organization contact information, you don't need to change anything here. Here you need to say that you're not um, discriminating any of the 
um, like the, the character of your organization is non-discriminating, yes. And then the contact persons, pay attention here, because that shouldn't be the student, but that should actually be the contact person of the NGO itself. So here I can actually copy this information. And um, I'm just writing down the first name and last name. I'm copying your function. The telephone number, we had it before. We are going to use the same telephone number here. And your email address should be here somewhere. Um, going to use your personal. Mm -hmm. All right. Here you go. Then, privacy policy. If you want to know more of what is ha going to happen with your data, you can definitely check uh, the links here. If you want to know more about TechSoup, because this is going to give you, in the end, uh, the token for TechSoup, there's uh, a link here as well. So I'm going to quickly just um, um, tick the box, use the captcha as well. And we're ready to go. So we have filled everything out now. We're ready to go. Is there anything you want to double check, uh, Emre, or do you? We can check a little bit, yeah. but I guess we're fine. Yeah, so as we have prepared well, we can just quickly yes. go through everything. We're good to go. For it, Emre? <laughs> yeah. No. OK, so we're good to go. So let's just uh, click on the button here. And if all goes well, we have a success message. Yes. Yeah, so that's great. What we see here, thank you for your registration. And um, what you will see as well is a couple of things that are going to happen. So first of all, in your emails, you will get a validation message. And this will be, of course, the email address of Emre, not my email address as a student, but Emre. So please keep in touch with your NGO and ask them to like, forward the emails they get from Socialware in order to keep track of what is happening. As well, because uh, we have created a login and a password, uh, Emre can now double check uh, on the Socialware website to see how the process uh, is going with um, the registration. Um, well, because I already did um, this uh, for a dummy account, I have received a similar uh, email, email already from Socialware. And I'm going to change my screen now to my emails to give you an idea. So here I get uh, an email from donationssocialware.be. And they thank you for my registration. And in order to actually um, confirm my registration, I need to click on a validation link. So this is ab absolutely necessary to complete uh, this process. Another thing, and this is very, very important for you guys, in order to complete the process, is to send a copy of the acts or a copy of the, how would you call that in, in English? Uh, Status, yeah, yeah. So statements, registration, registration uh, all um, like when you started up your NGO, you have uh, some kind of uh, official document that states who is starting up this NGO, what is the focus on the NGO, and there are a couple of sing signatures there. This one, you need to send it through email or per fax to Socialware. So Emery has already done that uh, with me, and it's, it, it was actually um, really a copy of several pages in PDF format, and we have sent it to Socialware already. So normally, uh, it's indicated here within four working days, you will get um, um, feedback from Socialware. But because this is a DMA, DMA program, um, it's going to be much quicker.